effect or something to that effect, I know would just piss me off on a regular basis. So Ethan's brutally honest comment of the day. Mm-hmm. All right, what question do we have next? Next question is from Josh Bambach. Bambach. Hey, Josh. Bambach. We don't know how to pronounce your last name. Sorry. Um, so, y'all a question. Hi, Kat and Ethan. I'm curious. What made you guys choose to participate in AKC hunt tests curious, and sir. NAVDA curious, tests sir. over field trials? Does your training change if a customer wants to run their dog and say gun dog steaks instead of hunting, testing, or being a meat dog? Thanks for reading, and I'm really looking forward to the new format. So this was one of the people that said, hey, we like the new one question, one video format that you're doing. Cool. So uh, this ultimately is going to be why we chose the testing games that we did and kind of some of the differences between them. First of all, uh, hunt tests are specific to there's there's two parts to this you labeled field trials and you labeled tests those are two totally different things and the reason for the biggest difference in them is the tests are just that they're a test of that dog's individual ability against a standard if they pass they pass every dog technically could win or pass that day um, on test day now, the other aspect of that is a field trial, and the field trial is a competition. doesn't matter if every dog there meets the quote-unquote standard, there's going to be a winner, or I've even seen when they didn't award first In, place. Yeah, no winner. They said, we didn't like the dogs today, so uh, we're going to give out a third, or maybe it was a second and a third, which... There were, you know, I am not an expert in the field trial world as far as all of the things go, but there is a point system. You have to have so many dogs in order for it to be considered a big enough test, a trial, excuse me, to get enough points and you have to have X number of points to be titled. And there's some kind of formula involved with that. And they're in different stakes and different uh, rules for different breeds and different trials that are out there. So there's a fair amount to the competition aspect of stuff. Um, as far as why we specifically went with the test side of things, one is uh, you ask about a gun dog steak, and a gun dog steak is going to be pretty close for a dog running. I mean, there should be, I mean, that's a, that's a foot hunting dog a lot of times in a gun dog steak, pretty close anyhow, shouldn't be uh, against things. So, um, but the other two are, are pretty good at rating a dog that fits what we utilize the dogs for. I mean, it's, a, um, we're, we're foot hunters and we do the versatility aspect of things where we ask dogs to retrieve out of water. We duck hunt, we goose hunt, we Which goes upland a, hunt. more hand in hand with the NAVDA side NAVDA, of the testing yep. because that stands for the North American Versatile Hunting Dog Association. Um, so that is geared more towards versatility with water portions of the test as well as field portions of the test. And then the AKC for our breed is only a field portion of the test. Yes. Now, there is some discrepancies, and you'll hear stories all day and night about how this jog or that dog was misjudged or the yada, yada, yada. it happens yada. everywhere. It's, um, you know, we are humans. Cat is a judge. I am a judge. And we are humans, and we're going to make mistakes, but what we see is what we can document. And we're doing our best to give an accurate picture of what happened that day, as well as meet the standard so that it means something. We're not just giving stuff away. You got to earn it. But at the same time, we want to see the dogs be successful, uh, not there to fail dogs. So all of those things thrown away now. Um, I personally, if I'm going to be completely honest, I like the ability with a test to say, I know what I'm going there to do. I can prepare my dog to do it. And if my dog does the things that I know they're supposed to do, we're going to come out on top, which would mean a pass for that day or, or a, prize. a prize with utility test or, a, or with a NAVDA test all the way from the different levels. On the field trial aspect of stuff, it is a competition and it is a competition that is subjectively judged based on the people that are watching your dogs run. So there's going to be differences of opinions on what dogs they like to see or what breed they like to see or what style, style they like to see or what they want to see that day. And for me, 
I am competitive and I'm very driven to do what I want to do. And the thought process of me knowing my dog did well and did everything and didn't do anything wrong, but didn't win because its style wasn't what that specific judge liked or something to that effect, I know would just piss me off on a regular basis. So Ethan's brutally honest comment of the day. Mm -hmm. Now on the flip side of that, I've heard the argument from people that say, I don't want a dog that can pass a standard. I want a dog that has enough competitive drive to go out and win something. They're going to put on, uh, you know, they kind of kick into a different gear. You can see a competitive nature. And this is a very true characteristic out of dogs. If you put Nick's on the ground with another dog, he is going to do his damnedest to out hunt that dog, which would mean running beyond it or pushing harder or doing something. You will watch him do it. He's got to be the head dog. He tries. Absolutely, he does. And that's that competitive drive that I think those people are specifically talking about. So our dogs have it, or some of them more than others, you know, but then you have the flip side of that where, oh, I would say when I ran Vino, um, she's a sweet, sweet little girl. She's a retired female from our program. Vex's mommy. Yeah, Vex's mommy. And she didn't have as much competitive drive, if you will. She's just happy to be out there doing her thing. And super cooperative in the sense that she's going to check back in and be like, okay, you're still hunting with me. Now I'm going out to hunt again. Yeah. Which is, uh, is honestly more the direction that I would like to see a dog be for what we are trying to produce, which is a family oriented versatile hunting companion. Yeah. And so the last part of your question, Josh, was does that change the way that we train dogs, um, for, you know, if somebody wants a to come in for gun dog steaks instead of hunting tests or being a meat dog. Well, definitely our training program is going to change based on your goals and your dog. Um, If you're just having a hunting dog, meat dog that needs to be able to point back, retrieve, and, you know, have the basic obedience, we're not going to go through steadiness sequences so that the dog is steady to wing shot and fall and have that level of expectation for the dog. If your dog retrieves naturally, we're not going to look at needing to do any formal retrieving work because your dog is already doing it. And we're not going to have a test or competition that the retrieving has to be done polished, perfect Mm -hmm. to get that score that you need. So yes, it's going to change the way that we train the amount of time that it takes to meet those goals as well. I would say the last smidgeny caveat to that is, I mean, if you reach out to us and want us and you say, hey, I want a dog to be a field trial champion, I'm going to say, buddy, we got to set you up with someone else. We will send you somewhere else because we don't have the experience in the field trials. Nor the time to travel and And trial for you. And campaign a dog. Yeah. So um, we have trained a few people for a few dogs for different types of tests. And I do, you know, like, no, 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 we want you to work with our dog. And I say, okay, well, I, I have no experience in this, but I can read the rules and I can do my best. And if you say you want us to do that, I will I will try and I'll reach out and get some help. But ultimately, I'm I'm not campaigning dogs, so we're not going to be the right person to the finish, right that, dog, to finish that dog out. For that no. type of um, It's a great question. It's a really good question. 